Today, we are gonna to continue talking about the travel risk and how we can mitigate it and how we can make assessment for those companies that have employees that travel abroad or the companies that have people that travel for businesses. I was talking yesterday in my newsletter about this topic. This is something that traveling risk always has happened always have happened because I, I, I come from the corporate world and it was very, very common the working in joint ventures where there are uh, the other content party had expats working with me. Always there was travel risk and, and expats risk because you know, there are cultural difference, law difference, the behavior of employees is not, you know, not, not the best. We have several cases that, that, that happened, you know, you know, car crashes, very common uh, in that corporate world, having employees, having issues. But this is something really t that different that's happening today to what today is called the hostage diplomacy. That I, I have been talking about this ex extensively, that there are uh, countries that they take you because you have, they have the password that they want to make some trades among you. So they take it you as a bargain chip or a political pawn. So there is that risk. There is that risk and where there is where I'm gonna begin tackling with my new line of coaching services because companies are unaware about that situation. So in their in their travel policies, this is something that should be included. So I'm gonna be educating the companies, basically the international companies, multinational companies oil and gas company typically the, the uh, other of course the energy sector they travel a lot these companies have all over the world employees and sometimes they are un unaware about the situation so that my coaching program will have pre-assessment assessment and post-assessment on the travel uh, uh, situation we can coach the employees before their travel, even if it's gonna be a short, medium, or long-term assignment, or it's gonna be a business trip. So the way is to educate it, how they can handle the mitigate situation. And if the infantry anything comes that somebody goes to this situation, we have a second tier of in the program. That is how assist the families, how assist the company, how assist the employee, because guys, I come from that situation. I, I, I went to a business trip and became a hostage. So I know what it is. My family went through this nightmare. And today, this is something that I can mitigate for you. Today, we went through the situation that we are connected to all the NGOs, foundations, uh, go government and non-government agencies. They are, you know, they are part of this uh, hostage community. So now we know how to navigate in this institution and we can educate the companies on that. So our, our coaching basically is going to that area. It's gonna be assessment, a pre-assessment, an assessment and a post-assessment for the travel risk and educating the employees, educating the management. And in that case, and, and something really bad happens, there is a second tier that goes more to support logistically and families giving us the support and i can tell you things so simple like putting food and medicine to the person that is kept contracting a local lawyer navigating with uh, all the bureaucracy in the government it can become a big deal and 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 this is part of the thing that i can put today in the table so uh, I'm trying to educate uh, the companies on this. I have been beginning to talk extensively now. It's a new topic of my coaching uh, services because I embedded it in my Life Pill for a Survivor Guide coaching program. I, uh, this, is, this coaching program, I put this like a sub-program that is basically dedicated to that sector, the people that travel abroad for business or as international assignment. So if you're interested in what I'm saying, you can book here a calendar call, free call. You contact me, we start from there, and then we can have a conversation about this. And I can tell you, if you're hearing me 
and, and, you, and you are a CEO or you're a HR manager or a, you are a director, I, I, I'm re responsibly saying that you have to take this seriously. This is real, it happened to me. You can go to my LinkedIn and see my story. I can, so I can, we can talk about this. So uh, I'm really willing to help you because this is something that can mitigate potential things, but in that case it happened, I can help you how to navigate under that situation. If you really care of your employee, I think it will worth contacting me. Thank you very much for hearing me. Book a call here and I will, will be waiting for you. Thank you very much. My new motto in life is never give up, never do so. Thank you very much.